Okay. All right, we're back in uh, Algebra 1101. I want to look at pages 21 through 23 <clears throat> and choose a couple of problems similar to uh, what you have here. Looks like you have some more when you turn the page on page 24. So you're going to get a little more practice here all of a sudden. And 25 as well. Wow. All right. Ooh, number 19, there's four terms. Maybe if we get a chance, we'll try to set that one up for you as well. All right, let's look at these, uh, these couple of here, all right? In the previous lesson, if you missed it, we talked about how to get a common denominator. And uh, it's important to recognize that this can actually be factored, which would be A minus B, A plus B, okay? Because it's the difference of perfect squares. Now, <clears throat> notice this one is the same as this, and this one is the same as this. So what is my common denominator going to be? It's going to be a minus b times a plus b, okay? So I'm going to set this up, a minus b, a plus b, a minus b, a plus b. All right, now I have all three with the same denominator, but I have to look at this one and say, okay, this started with a plus b, and to get this common denominator, what is missing? What do I have to multiply times, just focus on the denominator, what do I have to multiply times this denominator to get my common denominator? Well, what is missing is the a minus b, because I already have the a plus b, so I'm going to multiply by A <coughs> minus B, top and bottom. Now what is anything divided by itself? Anything divided by itself is 1, right? So I'm actually taking this and multiplying by 1, which is why this works, okay? This is a little math trick, almost like a magic trick here. So I always, always like to make this look like the number 1. Da da da! So I haven't changed the value of this, but I've changed the form so that I have a common denominator. It's kind of like taking a fraction like one-third and rewriting it as two-sixths. All you did was multiply top and bottom by two, but it's the same size fraction, all right? So that means this numerator becomes A minus B, okay? Plus, now what's missing here? Here I have the a minus b, but I'm missing the a plus b. So I'm going to multiply a plus b down here, a plus b up here. Okay, so two parentheses, a plus b. I should have kept this plus right in between here. And then, guess what? This one already has the common denominator, so all I need is the five. Now are we done? Not quite. I'm going to let you finish it. But we need to distribute the 2 times the a, distribute the 2 times the b, and then we can add the, the like terms because now they all have the same denominator. So we can add all the like terms in the numerator, okay? So I'm going to let you finish that one on your own. Let's talk about this other problem that's a little bit further down on, on page um, 23, I think. Let's think about what is the <clears throat> least common multiple, okay? Common denominator. Well, what's the common denominator of 12 and 10? Well, 12 has 2, 2, and 3, and 10 has 2 and 5. So basically, 5, I've already got the 2 covered, but I'm missing a 5. So if I multiply 5 times 12, I'll have 60, okay? And would 12 and 10 both divide into 60? Yes. All right, so I'm going to write that over here. Now, what's the smallest? I'm going to start with B here. What's not the smallest? What's the most number of times that B is used? It's used twice here and once here. So over here, I need to use it three times, right? No. Don't add them. Twice. Da, 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 da. What's the most number of times X is used? Good. Twice. All right. We have minus in between here, so we'll keep that. We'll keep the same denominator. 
6b squared x squared. All right, now let's go back and look. What do I have to multiply times 12b squared x to get 60b squared x squared? Okay, let's think about what's missing to go from here to here. Well, what do I multiply times 12 to get 60? 5. Do I need to do anything with the b? Nope, I already got the b squared. I have 1x, <clears throat> but I want this to be x squared. So I need to multiply times 5x, and I'm going to do the same thing top and bottom. Okay? And we can actually distribute that out, although, yeah, let's just do it. Okay? So 5bx minus 10x squared. Okay? So we're taking this, distributing it times both of those. <coughs> Let's see what's missing down here. Looks like we're missing a 6. Okay? And we already have x squared, but we're missing a b. So 6b. And we'll distribute that times both of them as well. All right? And I'm going to let you finish that one, okay? You are going to have a like term, though, it looks like. This bx, you're going to have, a, you have this 5bx here, and it looks like we're going to have a 6bx, but we are subtracting, okay? So what that means is this minus is going to affect both of the numbers, both of the terms up here in this numerator. And then you'll combine the two like terms. You should end up with three terms in your final numerator. All right, let me erase this. And um, <clears throat> let's try to start you on... Whew. Number 19... Oh, it says the answers do not need to be reduced. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's just look at that and figure out what would be the common denominator. Can all of these... Oh, one... I think ten. Can 5 divide into 10? Sure. Same with uh, 2, okay? So you want to try to figure out how can I get each of these to be over 10? All right, plus, minus, minus. And then figure out, well, what do I have to multiply times 2 to get 10 and do the same thing times the numerator, okay? And just work your way through that. Now, I... I think they do want you to factor it out and at least, you know, get the, you know, combine any um, like terms, okay? I don't have a score key, so I'm not, I can't look at it to see exactly how they want it reduced or not reduced. But we have a lot of like terms here if we're careful about these negatives. That's what most students mess up on because this negative affects both of these things. So this will actually become a positive. Same thing happens here. This negative actually is going to become a positive. So be careful um, finishing that problem on page um, 25. All right.